Hi, welcome to this video where I'm going to talk a bit about the culture analysis within soft systems methodology or SSM. Uh, now in SSM it's referred to as analysis 2 which is an analysis of the social system. Um, it's a fairly basic analysis and it's designed to be used sort of quickly uh, in, in a project type environment so it's not a, a sort of full academic analysis of a social system. So if you think about culture for a minute, let's, let's have a definition. So here we have one. A corporation's culture is the collection of beliefs, expectations and values shared by the corporation's members and transmitted from one generation of employees to another. So that's a, that's a basic definition, but let's have a look in more detail. Um, so in principle, culture is something which is shared by all or almost all members of, a, of some kind of social group. Uh, it's something that the older members of the group try to pass on to younger members. It's something, so morals, laws, customs, that shapes the behaviour of individuals and structures one's perceptions of the world. Now, in SSM, uh, Peter found that uh, looking at uh, social science, he found it difficult to find a model that was really quickly uh, usable in terms of a model so he, he developed a model based upon the work of uh, Sir Geoffrey Vickers um, and his notion of an appreciative system. Now this model is a simplification of, of that uh, but, it, but I find it to be quite handy in practice. So the idea is that um, the culture of an organisation uh, is based upon roles that people play um, and for each role, there will be a sense of, of what is normal behaviour within that role, i.e. norms in respect to behaviour. Uh, so, for example, you know, I work uh, in a university uh, as uh, an academic, and so there are uh, normal uh, behaviours uh, in respect of that role as an academic. Uh, so I'm expected to behave in certain ways, when I'm doing research and I'm expected to behave in certain ways when I'm doing lecturing. Um, now, uh, when I worked in consulting, uh, it was different. You know, there were different roles that I played uh, and there were different sets of, of, of behaviour that were expected. So in a consultancy environment, you're expected to be much more professional, um, much more polite and, and much more client responsive at all times, uh, certainly when you're facing a client. Um, and uh, you're expected to hit things like deadlines absolutely, you know, without fail, if that may, you know, means staying up very late and, and hitting those deadlines. You had to do it. Um, an academic environment is much more relaxed on things like that. Um, now, values is, is a tricky uh, one within this model because um, obviously value, when people think about values, they think about uh, you know, what is considered to be good and bad. Uh, in this particular model, it refers to uh, performance in the roles. Okay, So um, I actually find this to be a very useful concept in understanding the culture. So what it means is within a particular role, there are expected behaviours, but there are also... Uh, performance measures that, that determine how the organisation values you in that role. So, for example, uh, I'm a research active uh, academic, so my performance is predominantly uh, evaluated in terms of my research output, i.e. the quality of my research output, um, uh, judged in terms of the, the sorts of journals that I publish in, um, and uh, also the impact that that research is having. And so uh, that's where the organisation values me the most. Uh, I'm also evaluated in terms of my teaching ability as well, so that determines how I think about my role, and, um, and it sort of uh, it, it forces me to behave in a certain way if I want to perform well and, and progress in the organisation. So this notion of performance evaluation is a very good indicator of, of, of where the culture is. Uh, and it drives the culture going forward. So, for example, I worked in sales 
uh, very early in my career and it was very different. So uh, when you're um, working in a sales role, then the predominant uh, performance value is uh, sales, obviously. So uh, you could, you know, get away with having a range of different behaviors within a sales role as long as you're selling, you know, so it was really all about sales. Uh, and so it was a very sort of one dimensional culture w within that sales uh, aspect. Okay, so that's uh, a way of understanding the culture. So we look for the roles that people are playing. Uh, we try and understand what is considered to be normal behavior within those roles. And then we look to see how performance is evaluated uh, within those roles and that gives us a sense of of the basic nature of the culture of, of that particular organization uh, and in my experience it, it makes a big impact so for example I worked in management consultancy for several years and one of the reasons that I uh, left that and, and went back to working in academia was because I found the culture of management consulting to be not suitable for me. And it was mainly because, you know, um, what was considered to be normal behavior uh, was something that I, I personally didn't uh, tune into. I, I didn't associate myself too much with that. So uh, management consultancy, you know, it, it's, it's a very sort of pragmatic, very fast paced, very, very cynical uh, and performance is all about sort of doing the business, getting the business in, and and keeping those clients satisfied, and and parts of that sort of fast moving, uh, and cynical side of of that particular industry didn't suit my 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 personality. So um, that's a little run through uh, the Vickers uh, social system analysis model, which is called analysis two within SSM. <clears throat> now just. Um, a few uh, quick definitions then. So roles, a social position recognised as significant by people in the problem situation. Uh, it's defined by the institution or informally um, by behaviour. So this notion of role, it's not just sort of uh, the jobs that people have. It's sometimes there are roles within that. Um, norms, expected behaviour in a problem situation may be associated with a particular role. So it's really about what is considered to be normal behavior within that particular social space. Values, beliefs about what is good or bad performance by someone occupying a particular role. And just, just very quickly, finding out about culture can be difficult. Uh, when you're coming from outside uh, uh, into an organization in a consulting role, it can be quite difficult to, to, to pick up on that culture because direct questions may receive official myths of the situation, not, not what's really happening. So uh, organizations often have statements about what their culture is. And often those statements are sort of aspirational or idealized, and, and that's not what's really happening. So when people ask, you know, tell me about the culture, they, they often sort of tell you what it's supposed to be like, not what it actually is like. Um, participants may not want to admit what their real norms and values are. So uh, you know, there's a lot of deviation in organizations. So, you know, if, 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 if a consultant comes up to me and asks me about the culture, obviously I have to decide whether I'm going to tell them, you know, what I'm really doing, uh, because I might not want that to be publicly um, uh, uh, known. Uh, people may not want the culture to change uh, and, and, and therefore may not want to help you in your analysis. So again, you know, I might sort of, think, okay, well, if I tell um, this person that the culture is like this, then they might decide to change that in the future, and I don't want it to change. So um, it, it's it's very difficult to, to get the real culture of an organization when you're coming from outside. But when you work in an organization, you tend to pick it up fairly quickly because, of course, um, that culture is being driven by your performance appraisal. So you know, as soon as you have a f your first proper appraisal, that's going to tell you, you know, exactly what people really value in the role that you're playing. Uh, okay, so that's a little quick overview of culture within soft systems methodology. I hope that helps.